Albert Einstein is probably the greatest scientist ever in this world. Very popular and a household name today. He has been a household name since the 1940s and 50s. Einstein remains the last and perhaps only physicist ever to become a household name, says James Owen, a theoretical physicist at Towson University in Maryland. Born in Ulm, Germany in the year 1879, Einstein was a precocious child. As a teenager, he wrote a paper on magnetic fields. Actually, people say that Einstein used to fail in math, but that is not true. Einstein never failed in mathematics. He married twice and the second time to his first cousin Elsa Lowenthal. The marriage lasted until his death in the year 19 until her death in the year 1936. Einstein was so popular that once the New York Museum was showing a film about Einstein in the year 1930 on January 8th and there was a crowd of 4,500 mostly ticketless and reckless people who showed up for viewing this film and they caused the first science riot in history as per Chicago Tribune. As a scientist, Einstein's watershed year was 1905 when he was working as a clerk in the Switzerland's patent office after he failed to attain any academic position and though he had earned his doctorate. That year, he published four important papers, most important papers in fact, and one of them Describe the relationship between matter and energy, which is summarized by the equation E is equal to mc square. This particular theory says that matter can be converted to energy and energy, energy can be converted back to matter and the relation between them is given by E is equal to mc square, where E is equal to energy, m is the mass and C is the speed of light. Other papers that year were on Brownian motion suggesting the existence of molecules and atoms and the second one was photoelectric effect showing that light is made of particles later called photons. His fourth paper about special relativity explained that space and time are interwoven. A shocking idea at that time, but now considered a foundational principle of astronomy. Einstein expanded on relativity in the year 1916 uh, with his theory of gravitation, which is also called the general theory, theory of relativity. It holds that anything with mass distorts the fabric of space and time. Just as a bowling ball placed on a bed causes mattress to sag. During a solar eclipse in 1919, astronomers showed that the sun's mass did indeed bend the path of starlight. And this was chronicled by the temporary darkness around the sun that enabled astronomers to prove this particular theory. The validation made Einstein a superstar. And two years later, Einstein won the Nobel Prize in Physics. Not for general relativity, but for his discovery of photoelectric effect. And by this time, the 42 year old physicist had made most of his major contributions to science. In the year 1933, Einstein accepted. A professorship at the Institute of Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey, where for years he tried, though unsuccessfully, to unify the laws of physics. He was trying to form a combined law of 
all the forces all the four forces of physics he wanted to unify into one equation later he became a us citizen in the year 1940 and his fame grew as a public intellectual civil rights supporter and a pacifist he was a great lover of non violence and a big fan of mahatma gandhi many consider einstein's theory of general relativity to be his crowning achievement the theory predicted both black holes and gravitational waves but just last year physicist measured the waves created by the collision of two black holes over a billion light years away during their epic journey across the cosmos the ripples played with space and time like a fun house mirroring contorting faces general relativity also is the bedrock of gravitational lensing which uses the gravity of stars and galaxies as a giant magnifying glass to zoom in on for the farther cosmic objects this particular thing is used uh, to uh, in physics it is used to find out the geographic details of worlds light years away einstein died in 1955 of heart failure he would have applauded such bold imaginative thinking his greatest insights came not from careful experimental analysis but simply considering what would happen under certain circumstances and letting his mind play with the possibilities once he said i am enough of an artist to draw freely upon my imagination he said this to saturday evening post in an interview uh, mark barna says that knowledge is limited imagination encircles the world this is our tribute to albert einstein one of the greatest scientists of the world